spark nila doon is di, kumbaga, 'di ba? Tinagurian nga the nice one baby meta, yung ating <laughs> Estes, yung uh, yung ating mga healing Angela, Rafaela, 'di ba? So, meaning medyo binaliktad 'yon or medyo iniba 'yon yesterday ng uh, ng Signal Ultra. Uh-huh. They have this Valier. Uh-huh. Tapos ang ginagawa na lang nilang lahat doon was a support Uh-huh. Tapos ang ginagawa na lang nilang lahat doon was a support emblem na naka-average One of the reasons kung bakit nakakasabay sila sa gold Regardless na hindi sila masyadong uh, kumukuha ng mga minions on their uh, respective uh, lanes Pero yun kasi natin nakilala yung Signal Ultra That was the Imba DJ's Valir One of the reasons kung bakit din binan yun ng bread So I was thinking na baka maging ganon ang approach ng Signal Ultra Meanwhile for next play esports They were actually banning pa rin yung mga heroes banning. na usual natin nakita. Itong Alice na to, time and time again, nakita natin to on the preview series natin kanina from Work and Blacklist International. Naging, kumbaga ito yung parang ano eh, uh, hero, parang uh, apple of the eye ng mga oh. team natin. Talagang yeah. piling-pili talaga tong Alice na to. Yeah. yeah, parang kung yung team mo hindi mo rin mag-Alice or hindi ganun kalakas sa side lane mag-Alice, parang behind kayo. Mm-hmm. And I think currently, despite these two teams having a hard time in the current metagame, parang pareho naman silang nakakasabay. Hindi naman sa dahil kulang sila, talaga nahihirapan lang sila sa current matchup. Signal Ultra, ang binan nila dito, si Paquito at si Eve, uh, based on these current bans. Rob, feeling ko, may magna nice one baby kasi wala pa nawawala oh exactly. Angela still there mm-hmm. Rafaela still there and isa pang baby na feeling ko maglalabas dito si Changa si Changa what technically you... baby siya Yes, I know. I know, right? I know, right? But not only that, no? I mean, medyo nagkakaroon din ng popularity yung Popalin Kupa in terms sa mga tanks natin. We've seen it yesterday sa laban ng Signal Ultra and Brain Esports. Baby Boy yon. Yes, si Baby Boy. <laughs> si Baby Boy. Pero kung titignan mo dito, no? The way nagbaban dito ang Signal Your Ultra is more is on, ano eh, uh, yung kinasanayan ng Next Play Esports. This is James Hero. This is an Exhort Hero. Mm-hmm. This is a Rene J Hero. Mm-hmm. So, kumbaga, may target talaga sila dito ng mga key players for Next Play Esports. Meanwhile, uh, Johed will be left open. Kumbaga, willing ang Signal Ultra na ibigay ang Johed na to sa side ng Next Play. Yep. At ang unang pipiliin ng Signal Ultra, ang Benedetta. And feeling ko, dapat magpaita na si Popolin Kupa eh. Pero hindi pa rin. Ang unang na ilalakin dito, ang Uranus ni Rhea. Ni Rhea. We're in. Yun din mismo yung naging magandang uh, uh, game nila against Brenny yesterday yung kanyang uh, Uranus na I think it was also the MVP of that game uh-huh. na kahit saan siya siya mapa mapa teamfight man o mm-hmm. mapa split push ramdam na ramdam ng kalaban ramdam ng Bren Esports but now next play Esports un lang pipiliin dito sa pagbabalik ay ang Lunox easy pick yan para kay Exhort ang daling ibigay kay Exhort pero hindi ako magugulat kung kunin to ni James mm-hmm. and of course pwede nito hero ni Rene J or ni H2O Claude hey. Exactly, exactly. I like your point there. And uh, Lunox is also yung uh, ginagamit nilang somehow like a pseudo counter on the Uranus. And of course, pagka nakadark na siya dito with the spam of the Chaos Bolt, alam natin that the sustain hindi enough yon specifically mm-hmm. on the early game. And also, it gives uh, the Uranus na mapapaisip siya. He has to think twice. Magkakat ba ako ng sobrang lalim? Would I go under the inner turret? Or yung mga medyo confident na, na mga Uranus na talagang pumapasok sa base and getting two lanes on the process? Yep, HP based mm-hmm. ang scaling nung damage nung uh, Chaos Bolt na yan na hinahati dito ng Your ating Lunox. But right now, Signal Ultra, oh, oh, eto na. Nice Isa one. sa mga pinaka uh, oh. kilala na hero sa Nice One Baby Meta. Actually, mm. ang uh, tagapagsimula ng Nice One Baby Meta. Exactly. Actually, Rob, tatanong kita, anong mas importante bilang mm. uh, Nice One Baby Meta player sa ngayon sa, M- sa MPL? Is it the Angela or the Rafaela? Kasi, Rafaela still out there. Uh, for me, I would still go for the Rafaela. Pero kasi, pwede nating sabihin, if you were actually going out with the Rafaela, medyo ano eh, uh, sabihin na natin pwede mong basahin. Kasi most of the time, Rafaela would be paired into a marksman. So, somehow, medyo maki- mababasa mo na ag they would go with it. Kaso, ang problema lang, kahit alam mo na yun yung gagawin nila, it's still hard to counter. Nakita natin yan earlier on the series, yung Estes and Rafaela na combination ng Blacklist International. Meanwhile, for Angela, ang maganda naman sa kanya, it's more on mobility. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, uh, uh, you ha- just have to find your uh, position to, to be able to uh, use uh, yung heart guard mo uh, effectively. Na mm-hmm. hindi ka basta-basta ma- makukuha sa likod or some some other uh, things. I think yesterday, uh, there was an Hayabusa play na talagang pinipick off niya lang yung Angela sa likod. I think it was also the same game, Signal and Brendan yun. Yup, worth it siya kumbaga. Mm-hmm. Worth it siya sa, sa case na yun. But right now, ang naisip ko dito kaya Angela ang unang kinuha ng Signal Ultra is because of their core player si Janus na magaling din mag Lancelot. Oh. Kung may Carl Tusok, may, may Janus Tusok. Okay? Yeah. But again, this could also be a uh, jungle uh, Benedetta. But looking at the bands, Ling and Esmeralda, 
Binana ng Signal Ultra Next play is Sports Harith at Farsa Na mga hero Ni Aqua Boy Unang pick dito Ang Signal Ultra Rob You think they should uh, Secure uh, co the, the core already Para mailabas na Kung side lane Beneta nga ba to Anong kailangan Kunin na signal Your Yeah I think I would leaving. agree with you no? If they will be Locking here as, uh, Yung jungler Na nila kagad dito Pero Kasi kung isipin mo Kagura This is ito yung ano eh naging mismong kalaban nung sinabi mo kanina yung hero dito ni Aqua Boy it was actually Rebos and uh itong hero na to the Kagura versus the Farsa yung hindi kinaya ng payong hindi kinaya ng payong but anyway yeah I, I would I really like uh the Kagura pick here coming from Signal Ultra naging versatile na to and also uh, in terms of mobility parang kung papansinin mo dito for the side of Next Play Esports the only hard CC or probably the CC that they only have is coming from this drawhead mm -hmm. so meaning medyo mahirap yung mga pickups nila dito they once kumbaga they had to rely on the burst damage of the Lunox or yung talagang kailangan nilang makuha but this is a Harley jungler from H2 Wo. Okay, this is a far cry ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Malayo to sa nakakasanayan nating gamit ni H2 Wo. We're used to seeing him on uh, Roger Toll mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> na uh, pinulot natin sa aklat ng uh, Aether. Uh -oh. Pero sa versikulo 1 ang uh -oh, ordin kay uh -oh. Kuya Manjin. Marami na kabasa niyan. Uh -oh. uh, sanay tayo sa Roger. Mm -hmm. uh, sanay tayo sa Benedetta pero this is something new. Uh, Rob, is there enough magic damage on the side of next play? Indeed. Yeah. Definitely uh, enough magic damage and the only thing na gusto ko dito with the side of next play, they could potentially get on pick up dito. Itong Angel and to medyo kailangan magingat-ingat talaga to sa early game. And uh, even this Benedetta with the deadly magic, ang maganda kasi dito sa isang Horley is that yung early game prowess niya talaga parang malalampasan mo lahat eh. Parang ito, hihintayin mo lang tong Claude parang pahihinugin mo lang. Look at that doggy. Medyo, I think, they're really uh, on fire ngayon. No? Kumbaga, ito na talaga yung ending the drought. Eh. Kumbaga, both of the teams, they need the win. Pero, I'm feeling that next play, medyo maganda ang aura nila doon sa kanilang bootcamp. Yep. Uhaw na uhaw para sa panalo ang parehong teams na to. Pero, looking at Signal Ultra, last pick nila ang Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. Yan ang uh, kanilang gagawing side lane on Aqua Boy. And, um, yeah, I think uh, what next play esports is going to try to do is gagamitin nila yung uh, Harley ni H2O para mag-early engage. Magiging defensive ang paggamit ng HeartGuard. Totoo. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. And uh, for, for this one, no, kumbaga yung tempo magagaling talaga from Next Play Esports. So all about Signal Ultra. Halting. Kumbaga, kailangan nila somehow i-prolong. Sabihin na natin, may mga maganda naman yung mobility nila dito. Hindi sila basta-basta mapipick off. Pero kasi yung burst damage dito, Harley! I think, is this the first time na nagkaroon tayo ng Harley here on Season 7? I need to check my stats, mm -hmm. pero I first time so. to definitely on H2O. Yes, first definitely time. Definitely for the first time here with H2O. Ladies and gentlemen, nandito na tayo sa Land of Dawn Exhort. Papasabukan dito ni Keke Dot at Ben Sanity, who by the way is coming in to play. Hold up, pause muna. Ben Sanity coming yes. in from the sidelines. Oh, yeah. Uh, hindi natin masyado napansin yun, no? na medyo na napalitan yung isang player. But Ben Sanity once again going back on to the main five. Medyo... Uh, I wasn't really expecting that much, pero pero might as well change something, eh, de ba? I mean, you coming from a three series loss from Thursday to Saturday, kailangan mo ng bago, kailangan mo ng refresher, de ba? Actually, sobrang uh, ano ba sabi natin dito? Uh, unorthodox or kakaiba ng decision ng Signal Ultra dito, ng coach ng Signal Ultra ni mm -hmm. Kasi kung maalala mo rap, ikaw ang naghost nung podcast na yun, di ba? Kinausap right. niya siya ni Manjin mm -hmm. sa patch notes na sabi niya, ipapasok niya si Ben Sanity kapag catch type heroes. Yes. Like for example, yung Jawhead niya. Signature hero kasi yan ni Ben Sanity or even yung dati medyo gamit na gamit may pa yung mga Atlas and mga Kufra. Yan. Diyan natin nakilala si Ben Sanity. But well, you have to adapt. Kung maga, in order for you to grow, not only just using the winter transition, you also have to know or to have more heroes on your pool. Yep, and uh, right here, parang natututo si Ben Sanity sa bagong meta, mm -hmm. sa Nice One Baby meta. Ito ang bagong phase ng isang pro player na si Ben Sanity na sabi natin new blood sa Signal. Parang kasabayan niya si Imba DJ nang uh, mag-qualify sila sa Season 6. Mm -hmm. So, that being said, medyo... Kabado ko para Signal Ultra. Again, there, there's so many different factors no coming in. Pero so far, mukhang bawi naman. Ang daming damage na uh, nailapag nila kay Exhort na mapapatipi pa uwi. Oo. So, uh, tingin ko, no, still, uh, next play dito will be the one to set the tempo dito sa laro na to. Look at that oh. Yaoi dito going for the ejector. What a pick-up dito, Leo. Signature Yaoi ejector into the turret. 
mineral ni Irene J. That's ah. one already, pero siya wina ako. Ah. So, um, again, still good for the economy. 3100. Yo. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you would take anything, uh, specifically on the early stages of the game. Kung baga, yung pressure kasi, uh, in terms of drafting dito, both of the teams are really capable on late game. Siguro, sabi na natin, medyo favored ng konti dito on next play, yung, mm. yung late game. Tapos, yung, yung, kung baga, yung pambalasan nila dito, itong Harley na to, eh, mukhang makakakuha sila ng second pick off dun sa top lane. Walang kalaban-laban ang Angela ni Ben Sanity. Oh. Pinasabog. And again, it looks like top lane ang... Uh, paboritong atakihin ng NXP dito. Kahit sino ipadala ng signal, mukhang uh, papabagsakin nila doon, papatumbahin. Yes, uh, kahit sabihin na natin mayroong mga shadow-shadow tong Hayabusa. Um, Yahweh, alam natin from time and time talaga, uh, master niya to, itong jawhead na to. Yung proper timings in terms of rotation. And given that dito si Aqua Boy, hindi pa na niya naman nahihit yung kanyang level 4. So hindi basta-basta siya makakatakas doon sa ejector unless nga, meron kang, uh, medyo malalim dun eh. Yung nagiging pasok niya rito with Rene J. Pero so far, di Ito, I think uh, next play is for they are doing well and even with the gold and now Rene J na iwan siya mag-isa Oh shadow kill sinamahan mo pa ng pagpasok ng tatlong membro ng Signal Ultra that's one for two currently pero makakaisa dito free turtle for NXP I think uh, it's an even trade kahit papaano no? so sabihin na natin uh, nakuha doon si Rene J pero ito I think H2 wo dito this would be the kicker talaga para sa side ng next play esport. Nakita mo yun, mag-isa niyang ginawa yun. One of the reasons din siguro kung bakit na late nagpagpunta doon ng, ng tank and support ng next play because where they were actually zoning out the turtle for H2. So, yeah, still, next play dito mga kaibigan, they are on a roll on the early game and if they keep on doing this, Signal Ultra really needs to think twice kung paano magiging approach nila sa sub-summit game. Yep, and uh, currently, no, Anong level? 3 minutes in, si Ben Sanity wala pa rin siyang heart guard. Mm -hmm. And the, the fact that kailangan gamitin ng Signal Ultra ang heart guard as a defense mechanism para maligtas kung sino mang pipiliin H2O para i-deadly magics, medyo mahirap ang sitwasyon ng Signal ngayon. Uh, ahead ang NXP ng 500 gold, Janus, nagkaroon ng target, Sword Intent, Palayo, Yawi again, going to the bush, papasukin, Smart Missile sa tamaan ng konti, oh! That's Ben Sanity. Sinisilip niya lang, sinisilip niya lang. Sinisilip niya lang talaga. And that's one of the reasons din, no? Na kung bakit sa puro sa top lane din yung nagiging pick up dito na side ng next play. It's easier to kill the Hayabusa compare sa isang Benedetta. Sabihin na natin dito, both sides ng, uh, ng uh, Signal Ultra could be able to hold their own lane. Hindi sila basta-basta magpapush. They have a decent minion wave clear. Pero in terms of pick up, you would still go for a next play. Kung baga, next play dito, iniisip lang nila sino ba ang pupuntahan natin. Sino ba ang mawawala sa position. And I like what you said kanina no na matagal mag level 4 yung ating Angela dito is actually being passive kasi parang hinihintay niya lang na dumating yung minion and this is something you wouldn't want pero wala rin sila kasi talagang choice Leo eh kumbaga hindi sila pwedeng maging aggressive because the type of depth that they have eh medyo talagang sabihin na natin kailangan pang magpainit kailangan pa ng konting items and kailangan pa ng mga skills and now next play are really going inside the jungler dito oh. ng Signal Ultra Ito na, pumuporma na. Yawi! Bumaboundary lang dito. Blocking out the rest. And there you go. Managahanap si Ben... Si uh, Ben Sanity dito. Ben Sanity, look alone. Napasabog. Hindi man lang. Napag hard guard. Turtle going over to H2. Umaari ba dito si James sa likod? Mapapatay niya ba si Janos? Flame shot by Kekedot. But Aqua Boy goes down. 2, 3, 4, none. NXP in the lead. James, minubuli si Rhea. At makuha nila yung turtle. Rob, nakuha nila yung turtle. Oh no. Next play is indeed on fire. Mukhang ito na nga yata. Sabi kanina ni Butters, he actually watched the vlog of Doggy. So, nararamdaman ko ang ugong ngayon sa bootcamp ng NXP. And this might be it. Kung matutuloy nila to, Leo, Signal Ultra is really having a hard time. Kahit sabihin natin dito magamit Ooh! yung hard guard. Ejector sa isa akin, kaya natpinasok, nag-flicker, papasok! Janus, ginamit na ang Electro Final Blow. No out for you! Renan J gets a kill! Kakabuhay lang ni Janus na wala at nabura na naman siya bigla. Meron silang consolation dito. Aqua Boy getting H2O. Pero kapalit doon, mapapatay naman siya ngayon ni Renan J. Baka Renan J to, baka Renan J to, ang asim ng NXP para may bawi. Ang signal, tapos binalikan pa lalo. Again, hindi nakatakot para sa NXP na paabunin itong late game dahil meron silang Claude. Yes, napabuo nga ako dun eh. Nung pinanta mo yung baka Rene J to. Whoa. Pero now, Rene J dito is on the lead. He actually died once to the Hayabusa. Pero right now, mga kaibigan, Signal Ultra is, 
hindi nila makita yung groove nila dito, Leo. They don't know how to approach. Hindi, parang, hindi sila ready. Specifically sa mga objective na meron tayo on the early game. Yung mga turtle, hindi nila kayang i-zone out. And look at that. They are, sabihin na natin, nagiging passive. Yung dalawang, uh, yung sustain nila dito. And not only that, even their assassins. Oh! Oh no. Rene J nag blazing duet para sa isa and I think it's worth it, Rob. I think it's worth it. Ultra Almado lang ang signal spreading out across the map pero ang sagot ng NXP hindi gusto namin laban eh. Oo, oh, oh, gusto namin laban. Na explain din sila Almado dito in terms of getting kills. Look at the bo yung board natin dito 9 over 2. Right now, they're just picking on kung sino kukunin nila dito. And for the side of Signal Ultra, they're actually trying. They're actually trying. Mm -hmm. Makikita mo doon, Aqua Boy is uh, trying to be aggressive and even Janus. Kaso, yung early lead ng next play talaga dito, nagpapahira para sa side ng Signal Ultra. Sabihin na lang natin dito, Leo, na parang itong mid turret na to, mid outer turret na to, ito na lang yung nagiging hadlang sa pagkapanalo ng NXP. Kasi pag once na nawala yan, I don't know, hindi ko alam kung saan na ngayon magpa-park yung mga assassin and yung, yung mga members dito ng Signal Ultra. Sobrang late na ng mapa ng Signal Ultra. Kung mangyari yun, Rob. And right now, NXP is forcing another fight up top. Si Rhea papasukan, pero hindi mangyayari. Ben Sanity has to cancel the heart guard. Another kill goes to NXP. Rob, Meron akong tatanong sa'yo ha, mm -hmm. unless biglain to ni Yawi, naghahanap siya ejector with a thumbs up, makikin si Binsanity, hold up, walang heart guard yan. Okay, masasustan siya ng konti dito. We're gonna go for the purple Janos na naawan siya. Okay, si h 2 talaga men feeling ko, may, uh, may dugong snatcher. Meron Hanggang talaga. Hanggang ngayon, kahit, kahit as Harley, parang meron pa rin eh, kita mo eh. Grabe, grabe that poker tricks into red tree. And ito ito yun know, uh, going back doon sa si uh, sa pagpasok doon ni Yawi. Grabe yung confidence niya. Oh! Look at that unstoppable force. Wala na silang paki, talagang papasukin even with the puppet on the strings na magagaling with Ben Sanity, he doesn't even care kasi walang damage ang Signal Ultra kaya silang tangkihin ni Yawi. Kahit sabihin na natin lima pa sila as long as may support dito from the damage dealers ng NXP. And look at that, Janus, mawawala na lang bigla. Another one, James pulling the diversion. Nang gugulo lang siya dun sa kanan para mas maganda oh ang my. pagpasok ng front lines ng NXP. At sino yung front line na yun, Rob? Si Yawi. Tinan mo to. Sasabihin ko siya kanina, eh, di ba nagset up ako ng tanong? Ito yung tanong ko. Meron bang Phantom Core ang NXP? Sasabihin ko dapat si Rene J yun, eh, di ba? Ang galing niyang bumarili. Eh. Blazing the Witch sa isa, sure ball, patay. Mm -hmm. Pero parang si Yawi yata yung Phantom Core. Yeah. 407! Exactly. Kumbaga, kumbaga, ano yan, ha? hindi niya sinasadya na napapupunta sa kanya yung kills. Ganun It's just that sobrang squishy ng Signal Ultra even with Smart Missile and just Injector na manggagaling dito sa oh! Nabubura ang Signal Ultra. Look at that, Rene J. Being very confident don Leo. Going into the back nades. Ano siya eh, kumbaga, kaya niya eh. Parang walang papasok sa kanya. Isipin mo, sino ang hard CC ng Signal Ultra? Puppet on the streaks? Kumbaga, para mong pakukuluan pa yun eh. Patatagalin mo pa bago kumapit yung stun nun. Pero aside from that, walang crowd control ang Signal Ultra. Yup, and uh, kung babasahin na natin yung lineup nila, ang gusto nila, maguluhang laban. Gusto mm -hmm. nila scattered. Ito yung essentially game 2 nila kahapon laban sa Brenny Sports. Mm -hmm. Pero dito sa NSP, hindi gumagana eh. Kapag ang kalaban mo, NXP, na G na G, mag ML, uhaw para sa panalo, parang mahirap. Here we go. Oh, hard guard, sineset mo na dito. Janus, mapapasukan ni Ben Sanity, pero makapag-lord mo ng NXP. H2 securing the take. That's going to oh. be a back out. Ako boy, sumisplit push pa baba. Flame shot, pero macho-choke out dito si Janus. Worth it ba yun, Rob? Definitely worth it. Uh, uh, if you no, the only one who's uh, zoning out the rest of Signal Ultra was actually Exhort. At kinukuha na nila doon yung Lord. And for this one, this might actually seal all the outer turrets or actually itong isang nag-iisang inner turret sa, oh. uh, sa ano, ng Signal Ultra. Or might as well, baka makakuha pa sila ng base turret dito. Sobrang hirap na sitwasyon ng Signal Ultra. Rob, nangyari na yung kinatatakutan nating mid turret, yung tier 1 na tanggal. And of course, pati yung uh, tier 2 sa gilid. So, uh, NXP has um, really given Signal Ultra a hard time dito. Wala nang pagkukuhanan ng farm. And so far, I think, kung bakit walang damage ang Signal Ultra, mm -hmm. is hindi nila mabigyan si Janus ng farm. And kung sino isa pa, si Aqua Boy, hindi rin makahanap ng maganda shadow kill kasi at least dalawa o tatlong magkasama ang NXP parate. Yes, and not only that, what, who, who do you think ang kayang i-burst kagad? Sabihin na natin, uh, Janus is getting uh, good items, no. meron din siya. Pero who are you gonna burst? 
di ba? Probably H2 ho pag ka nagkamali siya ng hat-trick. Yep. Exhort would be hard with the uh, order of brilliance. Weird. If in James is too tanky right now, I, I don't think na, na makakakuha ng pick off dito yung kanilang Benedetta. Yep. So, again, all in burst at nakakatakot yung isipin na one hit wonder lang. Okay. Diba? Yun lang ang kayang ibigay ng signal And right now, hinahanap nila yung window na yun Lord, dito Babagbagin ang bottom lane That's going to be Oh! One more Janus, nabuhay pa Vinsanity, nagpa-back out na Yawi might go down here Blazing do it Yawi traded out For Kekedat Top lane Babalagbagin na rin That's going to be two Inhibitors for NXP Signal oh. Kaya pa pa nila i-clear to Rob? I don't think so Well, one member lang naman dito Ang nawawala for the Signal Ultra And I think it's all worth it For the side of next play Kung baga hindi nga natin in-expect Na dalawang base turret And eh, next play I think they want to end this one deal Yep Oh, the burst on Rene J Plus one Wow, base na lang That's it, ladies and gentlemen NXP Takes game number one Signal Ultra Feeling ko ultra almado lang. They have to stay in this. This winning moment right here, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by Oppo A94 Experience Gaming at full speed with Oppo A94 available starting March 26 in Oppo Concept Stores, retail partners, and e-com platforms. Get yours now.